Hey guys, Adam Mock here from Crezio, where life and art intersect. So excited to be here at Kamikaze 2015 at the LA Convention Center. There are thousands of people here today. We're gonna to see cosplayers, we're gonna see some amazing artists and some great attractions. So come along with us for the ride as we investigate Kamikaze. All right, guys, we're enjoying our time here at Kamikaze. We found these awesome cosplayers doing Borderlands. We got Dominique and Sam. How long did it take you guys to do these costumes? Uh, probably two weeks for mine. Um, I started mine a month ago, but I didn't work on it consistently. <laughs> so probably like three, two, three weeks. Awesome. And is Borderlands your favorite game for both of you? I, it's up there. Definitely yeah. up there. <laughs> it's one of my favorite games. Are you currently still playing it right now, like on PlayStation 4, the next-gen systems, with, yeah. with the, the complete uh, uh, games? Yeah, I mean, with the Handsome Collection coming out and, and having it be cross-gen for the new consoles, it makes it really easy to keep playing. <laughs> yeah, I just got done with a playthrough of two on my PC. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, great, and who are you guys dressed as? You're a psycho? Yeah, I'm Correct. the psycho from Borderlands 2. Okay. And I'm Lilith from Borderlands 2. Awesome, and uh, can you pan and get some of their, their outfits here? Tell me what it took to make these things. Um, a lot of time, effort, blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> lots yeah. of blisters from hot glue, lots of being frustrated, but the end result is definitely worth it. Yeah, I, she covered all the bases. <laughs> I mean, with my wig, I redid it three times <laughs> so wow and did you guys help each other out with the makeup in terms of like she getting all the cool lines body in? paint i only did the back of her body but yeah i i really like doing the body paint and the cell shading a lot of people do really realistic versions of it but i like to make the cell shading and the kind of cartooniness come to life i think you guys did a great job uh thank you to both of you for taking the time This is Isabel, and she is dressed as Mother Nature in winter. Tell us a little bit about this costume and what inspired it. Um, okay, so I love the idea of nature, and I love the idea of, like, animals, and, like, I, I love the color white, so I, I just kind of combined them and thought of Mother Nature. I love it. How long did it take you to make this? Around six months. Six months to make this thing. And what did it take to make the, uh, the antlers? Um, I used the basic, like, uh, old-fashioned way of doing paper mache with tinfoil and duct tape and pieces of newspaper. It's fantastic. Is this your first time cosplaying? Um, not my first time cosplaying, but this is the first like cosplay that I've made by myself. It's fantastic. Thanks for taking the time. This is why we love coming to conventions like this. Is artists like Isabel who take the time six months she took to make this costume come here and all of us as fans can appreciate it. This is why we love Kamikaze. Thanks for taking the time with us. No problem. Something that happens when you're doing your personal pieces and just recently I did one for myself and uh, my uh, friends on patreon were like that would make a great tarot card I was like okay far be it for me to look at a good idea and say no that's a great idea I was yeah. like 
I didn't think of it, but I'm totally going there, you know? And so even though it didn't start out that way, now I want to do a full deck. And it all happened just a few days ago. Just at, the internet. Love it. What a concept. I love it. I'm thinking it might be a, uh, around a day or two. I think it may be around <laughs> this day. It may last. It may last. That's so exciting. Okay, so what's that website again? Patreon? Patreon uh-huh. and then slash Francesco. Slash Francesco. That's F-R-A-N-C-H-E-S-C-O. Correct. Wow. Mind See, I blown. Am, I am still a fan. Francesco brings all <laughs> over this place. So excited to run into you again, especially out here at Kamikaze. Oh, Always to see love you as your well. work. Thank so you. Thank thanks you. for taking the time. Hey, definitely check him out. Amazing, amazing artist. Thank Great you. guy. Thank you. Uh, good seeing you again. Good to see you all as right. well. Come here. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so walking around Kamikaze, we came across this awesome booth called Fluff. The artwork is amazing. I love the vibe of this entire thing. And this is the um, the artistic expression and brainchild here of Miss Fluff. And along with her is Lacey. And I'm going to have them tell you a little bit about what, what it is they do. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm Miss Fluff, and this is Fluff at Lacey Noel. Hi. I'm... Oh. <laughs> oh. I am Lacey Noel, and I modeled some of Fluff stuff, and I just love her so much. I can I can see why. It's yeah. Pretty awesome. Okay. And hey, when did you get started? How long? Did oh, you get ten years ago, about. Mm-hmm. Okay. What did What did you start doing? Was it um, paintings, or how did you get to do everything from like purses, handbags? Oh, paintings first, paintings, and I thought, well, how can I get it to more people? Because not everyone can have my one painting. So I found out how to print, and I had a greeting card line with with glitter and rhinestones first. And that's how I started. And then I was approached by a company that made bags and they were like, this would be really great on bags. I'm like, well, people are starting to collect my things and they're, they like they like it, so why not just make it my line? And they said yes. <laughs> oh, that's so great. And how did you get involved with it then? Um, actually, I started modeling for her, actually not too long ago, and um, me and my mother, who is a photographer, are huge fans of her. So, um, I don't know, when you're sort of... When you're somebody in California, like a photographer, a model, or an artist, sometimes you'll collaborate with each other, and we've collaborated with each other. So, yeah. (laughs) That's great. I love it. Uh, If people want to get your stuff, where can they go? Oh, fluffshop.com. It's the end of Kamikaze. We had an awesome time. If you've never been, absolutely check it out right here in LA. It's a great show filled with fans and comics and artists and all kinds of things to see and do. Uh, hey, I've been here with Crezio where life and art intersect and life and art definitely intersected for me here at Kamikaze. I hope you enjoyed the video and check us out at Crezio.com. That's C-R-I-X-E-O, Crezio.com. We'll see you next time. Let's go.